State, the Australian Building and Construction Commission. Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce joins us now from Canberra. Good morning to you, Barnaby. Good now, morning, Sam. Can you confirm July 2 will be the election date? Yeah, well, obviously that's the date we've been talking about. But to be honest, Sam, we want people just to concentrate on the budget now. We're coming back for the budget. We want to get that out of the way. If we just start talking, Sam, about an election now, everything else just falls away. I know that uh, people have got the 2nd of July locked in. We've mentioned the 2nd of July. We've stated it. Let's get to the budget, get it out of the way, then pull the trigger for a double dissolution. Right, OK. Um, it, just, just on this, though, um, this could be a very long election campaign, 74 days or something. I'm sure we'll all be sick of it by the end of that. Yeah, um, we'll some polling out yesterday suggests it's a 50-50 split. Are, are, you, are you in the government a little bit worried about the polls at this point? Uh, Sam, we know that every election campaign is going to be tight. We saw that in Queensland. We, we've seen it before. These, are, these days, Sam, it goes on to a knife edge and we've just got to make sure that we show the Australian people a clear choice whether they want uh, Malcolm Turnbull, who's earned a quid, running the country or they want Bill Shorten running the country. Whether they think that uh, our team is in a better place to put them in a secure position or they believe that the Labor Party is the people who want to run the country. The only thing I would say is don't experiment with your vote. Make a logical decision, I think we'll be right. OK. All right, well, I know uh, politics is the big issue this week, but the big issue today is an issue you've been keeping a close eye on. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have released a video apology yesterday, basically to get themselves out of court, um, yeah. over this dog smuggling drama. Let's take a look at this first. Australia is free of many pests and diseases that are commonplace around the world. That is why Australia has to have such strong biosecurity laws. When you disrespect Australian law, they will tell you firmly. I am truly sorry that Pistol and Boo were not declared. Protecting Australia is important. Declare everything when you enter Australia. So, for two... I think, I think he's auditioning for The Godfather. <laughs> for two people who make their living out of acting, they're not doing a very good no, bloody job he, of it, are they? No, he's, he's very good at playing every person except Johnny Depp. Um, but anyway, <laughs> they, they said it, and that's the main thing. They've got to understand that we have strong laws in this nation, uh, and people who take our laws as a, a little bit of an inconvenience end up uh, with themselves in court. So, uh, this is a very important for us in biosecurity, I must admit. It certainly helped my Facebook page get a few hits. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that wasn't the purpose. The purpose was so that, so that all around the world this is going now, all around the world. Yeah. And people know when they come into our nation, obey our laws. So, so whether or not they really mean this apology, which we think they probably don't, they look like they're a bit too cool for school. Um, what, did, the, did the Department of Agriculture actually write this script and they did this for the judge? Well, obviously, um, this is a discussion between uh, those who are going to court, being uh, Ms Heard and, and uh, Mr Depp supporting her, and uh, the, the Australian Department of Agriculture and Water Resources. There were discussions that went between these. Uh, we want to make sure that they clearly understand that they have to obey our biosecurity laws. If they had brought in, if those dogs had rabies, then there's no reason why an actor's dog is any less likely to carry rabies than another dog if it's coming from a nation that uh, has rabies within it, or certainly next door to it as well. Um, then we'd have rabies in our dogs, mm. in our cats, in our bat population. This would be absolutely disastrous for all our native wildlife and disastrous also for the Australian people. 55,000 people a year around about die of rabies, so let's not take it as a joke. Yeah. So now we actually law. have one of the world's biggest movie stars talking about our biosecurity laws, which, you know, is, is quite good, I guess, at the end of the day. Did, did you actually help, help write this and can it be used as an educational tool now? Um, you know, can we, can we use it as a, as a government tool? Well, um, let's definitely use it as an education tool, and I think that's happening right now. As far as me directing that atrocious movie, <laughs> no. <laughs> Even I could have done a little bit better than that. Uh, do it again, Johnny. Do it with gusto, mate. Bit of gusto. Come on. Yeah. Rise to the camera, old trout. Rise to the camera. <laughs> old trout. You've never been, you've been called a lot of things, but never old trout. So, yeah. so do you accept their apology? You asked for an apology and you've got one now. Yes. Do you accept it? Uh, y yes, I, I want to make sure that th these are obviously proceedings of the court and I'm not going to comment on uh, the outcome of a court. A court makes its own deliberations, it makes its own findings. Um, it does them certainly vastly independent of me and uh, I, I always accept the outcome of the court. Okay, and would you welcome this couple back into Australia? 
If they obey the law, most certainly. <laughs> All right. OK. Uh, well, look, just quickly while we've got you, you, you did at the time um, threaten to put Boo and Pistol down yep. to euthanise them. Do you make any apologies for no, that? No, in fact, Sam, that's the law. Uh, everyone sort of, that's the law. That's what we were stating there was just the basic facts. If you're not going to remove a, a, a vector for a pest coming into our nation, we have to destroy it. We're actually legally obliged to destroy it. And uh, as you said, you've got a lot of hits on your Facebook page. Do you think that you've become quite an international celebrity out of this? Well, I'm, I'm scrolling through them to see if there's any comments from a man in Hollywood, but I can't <laughs> quite find it. <laughs> All right, Barnaby Joyce, thank you for your time this morning. You're welcome. Good outcome here. Here's Cotty. <laughs>